I do not have a master plan. I start in one corner, I work my way throughout the width and then the length of the building and just sort of visualize it in my head as I go through the process. Hi, I'm Mike Andy. I am the chairperson of the Dundalk Patapsco Neck Historical Society annual Christmas Train Garden. We just love to greet people and have people visit us. Well, the real rewarding part is to see the reaction of the public, especially the little children. To see their faces light up and to see the excitement when they first enter the door. And uh, they just have that first glimpse of it and they don't even know where to start in their journey through the garden. Yeah, it's just that expression. It just puts everybody in the holiday mood. The children see all the various moving parts and the light up components and they enjoy the scavenger hunt and the searching for the SpongeBob figures and all the other objects and characters that we have hidden throughout the uh, display space here and brings families together and they interact with one another as they go searching for the object. And it's just a nice family activity. Nothing really represents any specific place in the real world. It's sort of a whimsical, mystical, fantasy type holiday um, location that might exist only in someone's mind. Well, we do have one scale model of the Dundalk Shopping Center building and we can't figure out where it came from or who built it. That's always been a mystery, but it's part of the museum collection, and it's been sitting on the shelf downstairs, and it's never been displayed. And I asked the president, Gene Walker, if I may use it in the garden, and a lot of people do notice it. Most of the items on display here are stored in more than 200 boxes. This year it took about three weeks to set the display up from scratch. We had minor problems but nothing that wasn't fixable easily. We always have an issue or two with some of the animations because of the very delicate little motors and gears that make these little mechanical devices turn and spin but uh, our trains were running fine for the most part this season. During the overnight hours in the 2014-2015 season, we had three attempts to break into the building, and we were unfortunately the victim of some vandals. Three windows were shattered. A couple museum artifacts were, were ruined, and so we had some considerable damage to about a quarter of the train garden layout. We're not exactly sure who or why something like this would take place at a train garden of all places, but we were back in business again the next year. Everybody's always welcome here during our hours of operation, which is noon through 8 p.m., seven days a week throughout the season. And there is certainly no admission at any time uh, to enter for the train garden or for the museum, which operates as a historical society museum throughout the year. For all of us here at the Historical Society, have a peaceful holiday season, and we hope to see everyone come in and enjoy our display.